This trip was for sure one of the craziest trips I've ever done. There's places you would never ever go, but now with the stand-up you can discover all no new places. I think we got really lucky on this trip as well, because we just scored with the weather and everywhere we went something magic would happen. We packed it all up and headed to Seward to get on the Milo and see some icebergs. After two and a half hours of being on the boat and just saw land, took the little dinghy and went up this super cool river and it was just like this reveal of icebergs everywhere. Just pedaled through a huge arch. It was amazing to see the colors are beautiful and it was cold, still cold. They're just massive ice cubes. It's amazing though. Love to see one crack. It feels cool to be in such an environment, especially because there's no one around. There's no traces of humans that are around. There's no trash anywhere, there's no footprints, there's nothing, it's just us. So the second day we went to Bear Glacier and we did some stand-up paddling. That was a small like waist-high wave that was breaking on a quite a rocky bottom and uh, if you if you would take the wave all the way in there was a pretty big chance you landed on a little did a little belly flop on the rock. Rumor had it Robbie wanted to fly because he heard how much fun we were having. He was more excited than a kid in a candy star I think because he'd always wanted to come to Alaska and see what it's all about. I can tell you, that was one beautiful right. flight. Man, Thank you. I think I picked a good day. Anytime you have Robbie around, you're bound to have that much more fun. Well, I've been thinking about paddling out to a glacier on a stand-up basically ever since I got on one. I was thinking I was going to get a lot closer, but I'm not getting too close. Man, you feel so small when you're out there. You're just this tiny little human being 